Hi, everyone. I am Michael Dugan. I am faculty at Massachusetts General Hospital, and I worked on a clinical practice update committee along with Ying Hong Mimi Wang uh, from MD, MD Anderson, Alberto Rubia Tapia, who is a member of the clinical practice update committee for the AGA, uh, and he's at the Cleveland Clinic and Joseph Lim, who is at Yale University and is the chair of this clinical practice update committee to develop a clinical practice update uh, with be best practice advice for checkpoint inhibitor colitis and hepatitis. Immunotherapy for cancer has really transformed the treatment landscape for cancer over the last five to 10 years but has led to a wide variety of inflammatory toxicities that uh, fall to a large extent in the gut. Uh, we as gastroenterologists and hepatologists are increasingly seeing these patients. And the purpose of this clinical practice update is to provide clinical best practice advice to gastroenterologists and hepatologists who are seeing these patients to help them provide the best uh, quality care that we can. These best practice advice statements are uh, similar to those uh, developed by oncology guidelines, but have a few additional uh, areas of emphasis. These uh, areas of emphasis really focus on the role of additional diagnostics in management and of these patients. We specifically address the role of colonoscopy and also uh, upper endoscopy in the management of these patients and do recommend a uh, endoscopic evaluation uh, appropriately guided by symptoms before the uh, introduction of high dose systemic steroids in order to confirm the diagnosis and uh, assess severity. For hepatitis, we also emphasize the important role that a hepatologist plays in broadening the differential diagnosis in these patients to make sure that competing diagnoses are not missed. 